So. The Honourable Member for Barry Innister. Canadians need and want a clear plan to end the mandates and restrictions. This week, four Liberal MPs came out against their own government and are demanding that the mandates be removed. I agree with them. And I also completely agree with the Liberal Member from Louis Hebert, who said that the Prime Minister has intentionally stigmatized and divided Canadians for political gain. The Prime Minister has stopped basing his decisions on science. He's now basing them on political science, doing whatever it takes to save his own political skin. When will Canadians have a clear plan to end the mandates? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And ever since the beginning of this pandemic, Canadians have all wanted to know when this will be over and when we can go back to the way that things were before. I count myself among them. And every step of the way, we have had to adjust measures. We've developed new proposals and introduced novel programs to help keep Canadians safe and to ensure that Canadians know what's going on in a timely manner. The drop in Omicron cases recently means that we can make some changes. Things have already begun to change across the country, but we're going to continue to follow the science, the evidence, and we've done that from the start. And it's kept Canadians safe and I reject the notion that we're allowing politics to get in the way when the member opposite is clearly the honorable member for Barry Innisfil. It's not based on science it's based on political science. Yesterday at ethics committee Ann Kavukian said she found it disturbing that the government collected phone data without informing the public first or worse without their consent. Serious questions remain about whether the privacy rights of Canadians have been protected. The privacy commissioner has received so many complaints that he's opened an investigation. Canadians want answers. They also want PHAC to halt this program until their privacy can be guaranteed. Will the government respect the decision of the House of Commons to immediately suspend this data gathering program until we are sure that the privacy rights of Canadians have been... Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Our top priority from the very beginning of this pandemic has always been keeping Canadians healthy and safe while upholding the privacy standards that Canadians expect. And over the course of the pandemic, the Public Health Agency of Canada has used de-identified and aggregated data to perform and inform our government's response to COVID-19 and to transparently provide Canadians with information on the pandemic. That mobility data is released to the public and updated weekly via COVID trends and the Weather Canada application. And while the mobility data being used by the public Health Agency of Canada contains no personal information whatsoever. We will continue collaborating with the Ethics Commissioner and remain committed to safeguarding. Honorable Deputy de 